Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Bob and today we have several questions. Some of them we've never had before. Dr. Bob, is there sufficient iodine in Celtic sea salt or is an iodine supplement necessary? I want you to know that I use Celtic sea salt and every day I take 12 milligrams of a product called Iodazine. So to answer your question, I think that everybody watching this right now should take some type of iodine because we're exposed to bromine, fluorine, and chlorine. Willingly or unwillingly, it is attacking our body. Dr. Bob, I have cold hands and fingers, depression, and I wanted to know if it is a low thyroid challenge. And I want you to learn, know what I've learned from my experience, probably one of the most common causes of depression happens to be low thyroid. Cold hands and cold feet is thyroid. This particular person talked about lethargy and cold fingers. Raynaud's, do a search on Raynaud's. We use a product called Nucleozyme, which has RNA and DNA in it. You can do a search on that. We've had great success. You want to supplement your thyroid gland accordingly. Now, do you have any suggestions for Charlie horses? That's very interesting. Leg cramps at night is usually a calcium need. If you have activity caused cramping, maybe you call that a Charlie horse, could be lack of oxygen to the tissues. We use a product called vitamin E2 from Standard Process. Also, you may need minerals. So if you have cramping and it's sweaty and it's hot, you may consider some Celtic sea salt. Dr. Bob, this is very interesting. I was diagnosed with stage 3 breast cancer, had my normal and abnormal breasts removed, had several lymph nodes removed also. I want to know what to do. I've read about vitamin D and iodine. I would like you to search this term. It's called apoptosis. You can even put my name down. Ask Dr. Bob apoptosis or Dr. Bob DeMaria in apoptosis. Apoptosis is limited cell life. Vitamin D and iodine are critically important to make sure your body limits the cell life of cancer proliferation or growth. We will do a vitamin D3 blood test and a urine iodine loading test to assist you to create a plan to make sure you have enough of those two nutrients. Dr. Bob, I have cold feet, I'm sluggish, skin cancer, root canal, and I want to know what kind of iodine should I use. So somewhere along the line we've had a great iodine article that people must have been reading. I use a product called Iodazine. And I just mentioned you can have a urine iodine loading test, which is probably the most accurate way for you to determine how much iodine you have in your body. You could contact our office, but simply what you do is you would take no iodine for several days, you would do a pretest, take 50 milligrams of iodine, and then for the next 24 hours, you catch that iodine or that urine, and we determine how much iodine is in there. You want to excrete out 90 to 95%. If you excrete out, let's say, 60%, and you hold on to 35 we know that your body needs iodine. Dr. Bob, eye floaters, any remedies? Well, if your eye floaters are caused by a lack of vitamin A, I eat a medium carrot every day, and I also take a prod product called A-Emulsion from Biotics, two drops every day. Dr. Bob, in one of your videos, you mentioned the fact that we are told by the government to stay away from the sun. This individual want to know what they should do as far as what they should apply to their body. I use a lot of oil and I take calcium. Oil like flax oil takes the calcium from your body internally to your skin. I do not use suntan lotion. I'm out in the sun, not really frequently, but you could go out in the morning sun and an evening sun. And I really don't get sunburn, maybe a little bit of suntan, but you want calcium to the skin. I believe in my heart that one of the leading causes of skin cancer, skin challenges happens to be consuming rancid oils, trans fat, soy oils, 
any genetically engineered oil because those stop your body from taking the calcium to the skin. Thank you for the awesome questions. Please pass this on. I know it will make a difference in someone's life.